All right, a couple seconds early, but I'm going live. Hi, everybody. Let the camera start its magic. Let the chat start its magic. Let, what, uh, what's his name? Shia LaBeouf start his magic. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's been, it's been a, it's been a day, but I am super excited. So, for those of you, hi everybody who's here right now in the chat, it's lovely to see you. I am very excited. This was a very impromptu video. This will be my second live video and I'm still gonna be doing a live plan with me later this month. I guess maybe it's because normally I would just film a video, but because I'm doing plan as you go, there's more editing and uh, I'm just, I'm lazy. So it's easier to go live than to film a second video. So that's what I'm doing. Anyway. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God, people are bouncing on. I just, like, chirped like a little chirpy chirp. So, for those of you who don't know what this is, Chrissy Ann Designs, you know, I hope you know who she is. If you don't know who she is, she does, Kristen Damien does stickers, planner stickers, binders, blah, blah, blah. And I work with her. I collaborate with her. Um, if you want to buy my lettering or my doodling in sticker form or in, like, planner supply form, she's the one you go to. Well, she announced this year that there was going to be a Chrissy Hand Designs line at Michael's, and some of it has, not all of it, but some of it has my lettering and my doodling, and I've been very excited to see it at Michael's. I've been going to my store here in Napa every day for a damn week, and the pegs are there, but no product, no product. Tomorrow, come back tomorrow, I came back tomorrow. No product, came back tomorrow, no product. There's been like six tomorrows, and there still hasn't been any product. So I went to the Vallejo store a couple days ago. They didn't have any out yet. And I was like, God damn it. So then today I decided, you know what? I'm in a bad mood. I'm just going to go before I even do my planner video. I'm going to go. I'm going to drive. I'm going to fucking find these stickers. So I went to Fairfield. Still no, the pegs were there, but no product. Then I got to Vacaville and fucking finally, 45 minutes that way, I found it. And that's when I started posting about it on the social media and things like that. No, it's not on the Michaels website yet, but it will be on the Michaels website. From everything I understand, you should be able to buy it. And from what I also understand, it is supposed to be in every store in the U.S. and Canada, except for like 90 of the smallest footprint stores. And like, I have a tiny Michaels, so I'm not sure how small a Michaels needs to be to not get it. Because even though I know they don't have it yet, but they have the space for it. They just don't have it out, actually out yet. If you are in the Chrissy Ann Designs Facebook group, um, there is a map pinned in the announcements where people have been marking where they found it. So if you're looking for it, you can go there if you're in the Facebook group. Anyway, so if you are in Northern California, I know there's a few places it's been found, but these were found in Vacaville. So just giving you the heads up. Anyway. You guys are awesome. Thank you. So I want to show you what I got. I bought all of this. I had a 25% off my entire regular price purchase, and this was not on sale. So I got the 25% off of everything. And I also was able to get a 40% off coupon on one of the books that are $12.99. So I, 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 I was able to get a discount on all of this. And there is a coupon, I think a 25% coupon. I don't remember if it's just for today or if it's for today and tomorrow. But that's there, and I know it's online too, which but I know they're not online yet, so it's not really helpful. Anyway, so um, I want to show you what I got. Now, what did I buy? I bought everything that they had, one of everything that they had, except I did not buy, there was a set of post-its that, these are watercolor post-its. There was a set of like other post-its that they didn't have. They had the peg, but they were sold out, or they just didn't have them. So I didn't get those because they weren't there. The other thing I didn't buy was the fitness stickers because I wanted to get things that I was going to use. And let's be honest, I would not use those. <laughs> so I did not buy the fitness stickers and I did not buy the bucket list stickers because I have about a million different bucket list stickers that I still haven't used. And much like the fitness stickers, I just, I was being realistic. But the rest of these though, I can see myself using them, which is a lot of them, but you guys know I use stickers, so. I just wanted to give you the heads up. And I don't know if this is the whole line or not. I have no idea if this is the entire line or if this is just parts of it. But just giving you the heads up that those are the three things I know I did not get. All right? Did I get any freebies? No, not yet, but I don't know if she's sending me any. any. I often do, but this I paid for. So, all right. Anyway, so let's take a look at all of the things. A live plan with me, just you, that would be fun. All right, so these, let's start here. And I'll tell you what the prices are, at my Michaels at least, and we'll take a look at them, all right? 
So, these are the sticky notes. These are the, and I, they don't say on here, but I know I should have taken a picture of the um, shelf tags because those actually had names on them, like names of different packs, and I didn't even think to do that. And they just say sticky notes, but I remember the, um, I remember the, um, the tag, because I remember looking at the one that didn't have anything, and it said, I think it just said sticky notes, but th this one said watercolor sticky notes, and you can see the watercolor background, so that's what I'm assuming these are. Anyway. All right, so these are sticky notes, and they are, there's, they're like halfway sticky, so like the stick starts about halfway down for the big ones, and they are like the full box, if you have like an Erin Condren, they're like the full box size, and then there's all of these little event, event sticker size situations as well. And all of the sticky seems to be, these ones have like sticky like all the way almost down on the stick. So. Um, and then these ones have like top three has three check boxes and top five has five check boxes. And then there's important, don't forget, focus and crush it. And this is, these are my lettering, like just to give you the heads up. There's some of these that don't have my lettering, but these ones do. Anyway, these colors, I like the watercolor palette. I actually have in one of my binders, one of her binder kits of all the watercolor stickers because I love them. And so, all right. The one that has the weekly kits are 12. Yeah, I'll give you the prices as I go. So these sticky notes, I believe were $5.99. I'm gonna put them back in the, I don't know if I should be trying to do this or not. This might take forever. I'm not very time efficient when it comes to putting things back in, but okay, that's back in. All right, so these, oops, that's backwards. So the sticky notes are functional. These are not easy to read. I might not be able to figure this out. I think these are $5.99 though. Uh, sticky notes, here we go, $4.99. So sticky notes are $4.99. Um, the sticky notes are $4.99, all right? So then we'll take a look at, do we wanna look at the stickers or do we wanna look at the washi tape? There's washi tape and there's stickers. There's a big stack of stickers. This is the stack I have. And then there's the bunch of washi tape. So stickers, stickers, stickers. Okay, we're going with stickers. I'm sorry, Polo, you said washi, but you have already been outnumbered. I think the stickers are winning here. These do not have a binder. I don't think I just saw that float through. I don't think these have a binder, uh, but I've seen people punching them and they will fit in the Chrissy Ann Designs binders or like in a mini binder, but you have to punch them yourself. I think the only ones I've seen so far that are punched are the sticky notes. All right, so you're deeply, deeply outnumbered. So we're gonna start with the five sheet packs. I got three of them. I'm pretty sure that the fitness stickers might have been a five sheet pack as well. But like I said, I didn't buy them because obvious reasons. I'm, I'm not going to use them. <laughs> you all judging me for my non-usage of fitness stickers. Judge away, I say. Judge away. So these are all, I think, $4.99 or $5.99? How much are they? $5.99. No, wait. $6.99. No, wait. Fuck, how much are they? Okay, hold on. I think these are the mom stickers. So these are $6.99 for a five sheet because they're foiled. And then these are the Steve's and these are $6.99. And then these are doodles. So I'm assuming doodle icons. Okay, I think these are all $6.99. These are all $6.99 for five sheets, and they're all foiled, so we're going to take a look at them, all right? Um, let's go. I'll start with these ones because they're on top. What size are the sheets? Half letter? Yeah, I think so. I'm not always good at catching your guys' questions. I'm doing my some of them, Claudia, not all of them. I'll point out whenever I can tell if they're mine or not. I, I'm not always going to remember, though. I've done a lot of, of stuff. For her, so I don't know if you remember which ones are mine and which ones aren't. Um, binders at Michael's. I don't know if they sell the binders at Michael's, like that size of a binder. I know that I've seen them on the regular, like the little miniature binders. I've seen that size on the regular in the Target, like Dollar Spot or whatever the hell it's called. Now it's got some other names, not the Dollar Spot, but 
there are little mini binders that they sell there for pretty cheap, but Kristen also sells them on her site as well. So, all right. So these are all foiled. No, they're not all foiled. Some of them are foiled. Some of them are not foiled. So let's take a look. Um, so this first one is coffee and some of the coffees have silver. Can you see the foil? I hope you guys can see where the foil is, which is nice. This is one thing. A lot of these stickers, like you'll find not similar or maybe similar, but kind of sort of similar on her website, like of the stuff she sells. But the one thing she doesn't sell is foil. So, and I know that was exciting for her to be able to offer a foil at Michael's because she doesn't do foil stickers in her online, like ChristianDesigns.com. So that's cool. It's nifty to see foil. I like foil. I know some people don't like foil. I'm fucking, you call me basic if you want to. I don't give a shit. I love foil. You can come for me, but. Um, all right. So foiled, anyway. And the paper, I know some of you might ask, okay, let me get out some of the other stickers. So here is one of Kristen's binders on her website. And if you want to look at the comparison to the sticker sheets of the binder sheets, they're trimmed down more. So this is a binder sheet that, that she sells through her website. So the sheet is smaller, it's the same height, but the sheet is smaller. But what it looks like is that it, the same space of sticker is taken up, like there's just as many active stickers, if not more, because this whole top section, it's just less sticker paper on either side. Like you see what I'm talking about here? Like I'm holding it like this so that you can see the amount of sticker that's on the sheet versus the size of the sheet. Like this sheet, if I put it right here in the middle, it just looks like it has extra like excess sticker paper. But that this, I think she put in here. So if you wanted to punch it, I'm guessing, to put it in the binder, it would fit in a mini binder. Now this is one of the binders Kristen sells, but they also sell little mini binders at Target. I think you can get like them in the binder section for a certain price, or if you catch them in the dollar section, you can usually get them for like a dollar or like three bucks or something. Um. So yeah, so anyway, so I'm just, I wanted to show you. Now as for the paper quality, now I felt some of the recollection stickers and they've got kind of a, I don't know, like a cheap feel to them. I don't know how to describe it. Like a, oh God, what's the feeling I'm thinking about? Where the paper feels like textured almost, but it's not textured, like rough maybe. Like it feels like flimsy sticker paper. These have the same feeling as the the matte the the matte like vinyl-y situation of these. They feel the same. These just feel a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna peel one off here, and let's see what it feels like in comparison. Now, the material feels like this, I'm trying not to waste them. This material feels a lot more flexible, like bendy in the original stickers. And this material feels a little bit stiffer. <laughs> Stiff, but gritty, thank you. That's a good word, gritty. That's what the regular recollection stickers feel like. Anyway, so these have a similar feel to them, but they're not the same paper. This is thicker and more uh, vinyl -y, I guess, maybe is the right word. And these have a little bit more crispness to them. Does that make sense? So what size is the binder? The binder is, this binder is small. It's a, um, I don't know what the size is. Let me measure it. Okay, I have to get my ruler out. So maybe there's a size on the sticker sheets for the size of the sheet. No, there is not. Okay, so let's see. So the binders, the Kristen, bind, the Christian Designs binders have a size and I don't know what they are, but if I'm measuring the cover of it, it is seven and some change by, like seven and a little bit of change by eight, just about nine. Seven by, a little smaller than seven by nine. And then the sheets in the binder are, like the, these are not these are not the Michael stickers. These are the ones you buy on the website. I should know this. I own like a million of them. Uh, six and almost not six and a half, but like six close six and a half thereabouts to almost eight. No, it's not right. Maybe that is right. Almost eight. So then the binder is bigger than that. So the binder must be 
nine. Anyway, these sheets are the new sheets. The Michael sheets are five and a half by eight or a little bit bigger than eight. All right. I don't know if that answers all your questions, but that's as much measuring as I'm going to do right now. You guys are lucky you got that much out of me. Can I compare it to printer paper? I can take a piece of printer paper and show you. Do I have one that's close by? I think I have something that's close by. Is this printed? Yes, I can't show you this because it's... Oh. All right. This is a piece of printer paper. And this is the stickers like right up to the edge. So it's about half letter size, maybe a little bit smaller than half letter size. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, they're not, they're going to be Robin from what I understand. They're just not there yet. Anyway, so some of these are foiled and some of these are not. Anyway, so these have, um, coffee cups and then coffee date, lunch date, boozy cups, happy hour, planners, planner meetups, wine and treat yourself. These are Planner Pete. This is one of Kristen's creations with a bunch of different faces and emotions and so on and so forth. Consider him to be like the brother of Planner Steve. And then um, this is laundry. So some different laundry stickers. Do your chores. Do fold the laundry. Clean. I'm going to use the shit out of these. I'll need like 25 of these sheets. Thank you very much. And then like cleaning supplies and... Cleaning supplies, laundry supplies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, and then weather, which is always nice to have. So the weather icons are sun, rainbow, sun behind a cloud, cloud, lightning, raindrops, stars. Sweet. And then. Mug stickers, yeah. <laughs> Every time I've drawn a mug, I've always assumed it's gonna be used for hot cocoa because everybody associates like the Starbucks style cup as coffee. And so it's hard to differentiate. And then we have um, these guys, which are foiled. So the weather's not foiled and this laundry icon -y situation, these are, neither of these are foiled. These are both not foiled, whatever. And Pete, these three sheets are not foiled. This one is foiled as you can see here, some of the money has foiling on it. And then some of the, like basically like every other sticker is um, foiled. And this has like some to-do lists and pens, you got this, stars, money, and then some like doodly things. So that's one pack right here. And that's a $6.99 pack for these five sheets. And I'm gonna just continue sticking them back in here and we're gonna see what happens. Then this one is the mom pack, I'm pretty sure, which I will use because I am a mom and I use mom stickers because that's how I live my life. Functional mom, these are $6.99. And, oh, are you guys blurry? Um, Did you try resetting? It doesn't look blurry for me from where I'm at. So it keeps, it keeps kind of, um, Buffering for me though. All right, let's get this out. Oh, for these ones, um, some of the doodles are mine. Uh, like the money doodles are mine, I believe. This is mine. I don't think these are mine. Um, in the laundry page, probably about two thirds of the doodles are mine, I think. Maybe. The Pete, I did not do. The Pete is Kristen. Like I said, I'm really not good at remembering. It's been a long, I've done a lot. Over the years, I've done so much that it, sometimes it's easy to forget. The weather are mine. Yes, the weather are mine. Um, all right, so this one, I'm pretty certain that all of the lettering here is mine. And this is mine. I don't think this is mine. So these say like happy hour, family time, coffee date, me time, date night etc. And then a bunch of girls night stickers that have foiling in the header of them and the number one mom. Hey, Kristen. Kristen made it into the comments, you guys. Okay. So then there's this one. Um, it says what's for dinner. I need, again, need like about a million of those meal prep, um, grocery bags, fend for yourself, which this is a font. I'm pretty sure, but I write that in my planner on the regular eat out some meal planning stickers. And then 
This one is foiled. It's another similar like doodly icon sheet, but this one has uh, soap and laundry baskets and um, hair dryers, things like that. This one is actually one I would use a lot of too. This is for like appointments, hair appointments, clips and you know scissors, uh, doctor, the, I can't even talk. I don't have my words today. Stethoscope, doctor's appointments, pills, I have, I actually have this sticker in like full sheets because I use them. <laughs> Toothbrushes and dentist appointments. And then these are to buy lists, bill dues, calculators, and then budget stickers. So that's the mom pack. Let's put these away. So that pack was also $6.99. Now, this is the one that I saved for last of this specific. Um, for the real girl, you said, can we order full sheets of one type from her? I don't know if you can order all of the different designs you're seeing here, but a lot of them you can. So, and I've seen a lot of these on her site before or like something similar to them. You just have to kind of poke around, I guess. Um, McFeather, I agree with you. Like there is plenty of mom stuff in there, but it's not so mom that you have to be a mom to use it. You probably could use 99% of that and not be a mom, which I like. Are these more expensive? Actually, I think these are cheaper. The price on these is bet is not, I would say better because I love the stickers in her shop, but I want to say in Kristen's shop, stickers run between like five and seven bucks, I think for a sheet. And these are seven bucks for the pack of five. So it's, um, these are less expensive per sheet. Um, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Sticker version of gateway drugs. This, okay. So those of you who don't know, Steve is a little guy. I drew him once one day when I was bored on my Instagram and Kristen was like, I need that guy. And so over the years, Steve has evolved into having many different forms and emotions and uh, occupations. He's like the Barbie of Chrissy and Designs, except he has, Barbie doesn't seem to have as many side eye faces as Steve does. But anyway, so Steve is a, is a character you can find many different iterations of in Kristen's shop. And there are many different Steves in this pack. This pack, I'm pretty certain, um, this pack is pretty, I'm pretty certain, um, is all Steve or very close to all Steve. I want to say that's what it was called on the receipt. So, and this is like foiled so there's a bunch of phrases, and it looks like all of the phrases on this sheet are foiled. See? We got many different Steves on here. My favorite Steve, I'm going to zoom in on my favorite Steve. Are you prepared? He was the original Steve, this, like, grumpy side-eye Steve. This is my favorite. I have a stuffed Steve that Kristen gave me. I've got this Steve in a tote bag. Let me show you. There's my, my grumpy Steve tote bag. Steve, this Steve's my favorite because this is how I spend most of my days. So, <laughs> so um, lots of different, like barfing Steve, do sick Steve, crying Steve, excited Steve, nerdy Steve. Okay. And then you get two of these sheets and it looks like one of these sheets, all of the phrases are foiled. And this one, all of the phrases are colorful. So that's exciting. And now we have these Steves, which are holiday Steves, holiday centric Steves. And let me zoom in. Let me see which one of these is my favorite. I love Farmer Steve for the first day of fall. Farmer Steve has been one of my favorites. I think it's the porn star mustache. And I love Franken Steve. Franken Steve. I might have to use Franken Steve. Franken Steve is my boy. Um, I guess the leprechaun Steve also has a kind of a porno stash. But yeah. So these are all like different holidays. There's uh, Santa Steve on here. There's a um, Hanukkah Steve on here. Um, there's a summertime scuba diving Steve, bunch of different holiday Steves. And again, there's phrases that are foiled. Then this is a sports Steve page and we have a bunch of different sports on here. There's soccer and, and hockey and baseball and swimming and boxing and football and Quidditch. Yeah, there is. And um, volleyball, 
lacrosse, a bunch of different like sports Steves and a bunch of practice and game day stickers. Yes, they will be available in Canadian Michaels. I actually should just let Kristen answer the questions in the comments because she knows the answers better than I do. Um, uh, yes, this is a Penguin Steve for the winter. Um, I like about this sheet, especially that all, instead of having a bunch of different phrases like here or on the holidays one, you just get a lot of different practice game day and meat stickers because I know for sports parents, you probably go through a shit ton of those. And then we've got some Steve... Uh, event stickers, some Steve check boxes, some birthday Steves. This is another favorite Steve. That's the Steve on the laptop. Um, and then some different Steve situations here, I guess to like mark what kind of a day, like the day I have to pay my mortgage, I could use that Steve. Actually, let me rephrase the day I have to pay my mortgage. I could use that Steve. No, I could actually use that one too for my mortgage and that one for my mortgage. And maybe even that one for my mortgage. I just don't think I'd use the happy ones for my mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and I really want these in the shop, Kristen. Yes, this is all one pack. All of these Steves are one pack of Steve. And they're um, $6.99 for the pack. Steve is the bomb, dude. I I enjoy Steve. I, I Because I think, you know, it's like, if you ever watch Grease 2 when they sing that song, Girl for All Seasons, this is like Steve for All Seasons. Okay, so these are all of the $6.99 packs I got. I'm pretty sure that the fitness pack was also $6.99. I don't know if the bucket list was or not, but I didn't buy either of those because I didn't think I was going to use them. So, um, all right. Well, the difference is, okay, we can show you. The differences between Planner Pete and Planner Steve is I would like to say that Planner Pete is Steve's little brother or a little, like, cousin, and he hasn't grown up enough yet to be a doctor or... A farmer, <laughs> in my mind at least. <laughs> All right. Moving on. These are the 10 sheet books. And I have not even, these have like a seal on the side. I haven't even flipped through any of these yet, except for like this. Um, and I bought some of them. All right. So this one doesn't have my writing. Oh, maybe it does. No. No, this is all text, but I really wanted this one because I thought this one was sexy. So this one is not opening. How do you do this without cutting yourself? So I have an X-Acto knife. This could be dangerous. Do we want to get the X-Acto knife out? Do we want to risk life and limb for stickers? Yes. Okay, if I cut myself, you guys will at least have witnessed it for posterity. Prosperity? Posterity, what's the word I want? Post posterior, is that my butt? Okay, trying to like not jank anything up here. I'm never careful with my shit. I'm actually trying to be careful now. They come off, e I don't have any nails, dude. It's been an, it's been an, I don't, like I can't, I've been chewing my nails down. They're all flaky. I don't have like the nail strength to actually do that right now. I'm sure they probably are. I'm just struggling because um, with all of the shit that's gone on the last couple of weeks with my sister and then with my own health, my nails have basically I was doing so good. I had like a year where I didn't bite, year and a half where I didn't bite my nails. And that progress has all gone out the window in the last couple of weeks, let me just say. All right. So, here we go. So these ones are, I wonder if I can tell what these are in the on the receipt. These ones are, uh, no, I cannot tell, but I'm pretty sure these are twelve ninety nine. I don't know what these are called, but they're like a text sticker, and they just have a bunch of sayings on them. Kristen, you might be able to answer this. Are these the same sayings on every sheet? It looks like they're the same, the same sayings on every sheet. It just looks like each sheet is a little different from each other in terms of coloring. Okay, same on each sheet. So let's look at these. There's a whole bunch of different phrases on here. I don't even know if you can read them all. But like that's not how this works is on here. Not happening. Whoops, unfriended. <laughs> Shaved my legs. Only binge watch TV for 12 hours. I wasn't rude to anyone. Only spent $250 at the craft store. Seriously considered working out all day. These are very funny. I enjoy these. Okay. So a bunch of like snarky comments basically is what these are. So you get one that anything situation on here. I don't know if Kristen put the situation on here or not. 
But there is, this is my sarcastic font, which I could stick on my kid's forehead. What do you think, Katie? Katie's ignoring me. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it. RJ just burped. Okay. Anyway, so a bunch of snarky situations. And these are all on this. So these are all on a rainbows, but it looks like when you peel them up, like individually, it's just whatever section of the rainbow that they're on. So, you know, like you're not going to get a rainbow colored sticker. You're going to get whatever color in the section it's in. And these are also on a rainbow, but the font is white. It's the same phrases though. Um, these ones are, um, silver foil on rainbow. Ooh, these look sexy. These ones are white font on black, uh, black. I don't know why I'm doing that. They're not foiled. It's not like you can see like, Ooh, black and white. Ooh, <laughs> I'm losing my shit. Here we go. Okay. So this is white font on black situation. Um, then these, Ooh, these I can do it though. Check that out. It's like, these are white font on silver foil. Um, these are rainbow. So it looks like it's repeating again. So black font on rainbow, white font on rainbow, silver font on rainbow, white font on black, white font on silver. All right. So it's like you get two of each. It looks like. Um, all right. So that's cool. I'm going to use the shit out of these. Probably not in my planner. I think I'm just gonna like put one on my like my like on my glasses like right here, right across the middle, for whatever however I'm feeling that day, and let my husband just read that, and then he doesn't even need to ask me any questions. He can just see where I'm at. Like RJ will walk in the door from school, and I'll just stick nobody cares on my glasses, <laughs> and we'll see how he reacts to that. How would you react to that, RJ? What? If you walked in the door from school and I had a sticker on my glasses that said nobody cares. And then you probably asked me how, how my day was at school. And then I'd be like, oh, wait, and point to my glasses. No, wait, you would forget, <laughs> you forget about I probably it. would forget that I had it on my glasses, and you'd be like, Mom, why do you have that on your glasses? I'd probably stick it on, and like 20 minutes later forget because I'm that distractible. Okay. Yeah, and then it's like I'd walk home and like ask me how my day was. I'm like, why, why do you want to know, Mom? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So this one looks like it's like a functional set of something. Functional set of something. I'm gonna cut into this puppy without destroying the stickers or my hands. Okay. All right. I'm pulling off the, the little bits and pieces here. Katie, you should come look at this pack though of all these phrases. You're gonna think this is like reading your mind on most days. All right, way too many goldfish. That's not on here. If you can't eat your dinner because you ate too many goldfish, we're gonna have some questions, some conversations. Well, what's for I don't. Gonna, I'm making taco. I'm eat my dinner. Making taco salad. I forgot. Okay. I just had many goldfish. All right. Are these sized for the EC? They seem to be yeah. sized for the. Some of them, at least, seem to be sized for the EC. They look like they're basically the same size as the other stickers that Kristen what are these sells. Mean? Just read them. The little phrases. They're funny. They're funny. Yes, they're. they're All right. So in this book, these look like. Thanks, Katie. In this book, we've got just a bunch of like functional stickers, which you guys know I actually use the shit out of, so I'm excited about this. Different event size stickers, little circle-y stickers, more event size stickers. Then here we've got um, 1.5 inches approximately. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, basically. It's a very loose interpretation of my ruler, but yes. Um, I have no idea if they're ever going to be available for people based in England. I do not know that. Um, these ones have some foil on them. They're not all foil, but there's like a few foiled ones sprinkled through them and a lot of foiled ones in little arrows. And then these are more like event stickers and they're white. So like if you peel one up, let me peel one up here. They look like this. These kinds of stickers are my jam. The ones that are just very, you know, basic. I love them. Bye, Claudia. Um, thank you, Sandra. Anyway, and then little checklists and some of the checklists are also um, foiled. And then some more functional stickers. Some of these are foiled. 
same deal. Most of these look like they have foil on them. I feel like this whole thing has almost entirely, even if there's just a little tiny bit of foil. And these like, I love these like half box sized ones. These look very, if you ever bought Kristen stickers, these all look very standards to you, standard to you. Um, male genitalia, which ones? Oh, I see it. I don't think I would have seen it if you hadn't pointed it out, but I see it now. <laughs> um, then we have what's for dinner stickers, movie night, and then some flight trackers. Some with foil on them. I just keep trying to show the foil so you guys can kind of see where the foiling is. And then a bunch of icon stickers. And then a bunch of other, ooh, ooh, foiled icon. I'm gonna cough. <coughs> My excitement is making me cough. Um, Foiled icon stickers. Check that out. These I'm gonna use the shit out of. These are neat. Now I need rose gold and pink foil and gold foil and chartreuse foil and all the foil colors. Um, and then these all look like headers. So today noted, don't wait, but first important. And then a bunch of um, check boxes. And these all look like they're kind of in like the super bright color scheme. I don't know where the package for this one went. Oh wait, they don't have packages. <laughs> All right, the foiled icons are sexual. I would love a pack of those foiled icons with every possible color of foil imaginable. That would be sexual healing right there. That would be foil fabulousness. That would be that would be a planner boner for sure. Okay, let's cut these. Meep. Hi, Maggie. Oh, Robin, I hope your car gets fixed soon. I hate car trouble. Car trouble is garbage. <sighs> All right. Oops, did I cut this in two? I'm totally yeah. seeing a conversation happening here about hyperthyroidism, question mark. And I'm very sorry that you got diagnosed with that. That sucks. That? It's a disease when your thyroid does not... Like a thing when your thyroid does not, either does not produce the horm as many hormones as you need from the thyroid or produces too much, depending on if it's, it's hyper. Thyroid. It's a it's a gland. And I, I'm not going to explain a thyroid to you while I'm live streaming. Let's talk Please. about that later. RJ, <laughs> I will talk about it later. No. You can, you have a Google machine right in front of you. No. <laughs> All right. So these are... I think this one is entirely my lettering. This was, I think, the one when I saw it, I was like, this is the one I need to get my face next to because this is the one that's most obviously me. And so I'm excited about this one. All right. Um, where do you want me to send my renal disease and feet notes? Ah, you can send them to my son. Let me get you his address, his email address. All right, so these are the months, it looks like. Don't worry about it, RJ. So these, oh, also, I didn't notice this until now. The top of these, these are sticker books like this, but the top is perforated, so you can tear them off and also punch them into a binder if that's what you're going to do. All right? So um, lots of months here. It looks like you get three sets of the months, plus you get some exclamation points and so on and for so forth. And then here's the days of the week. Again, you get one, two, three sets of the days. And then here are bubble numbers, and you get 1 through 31, and then 0, and you get that four times, and they're bubble numbers. Ooh, foil. Foil bubble numbers, same setup. Oh, there's the pink foil. Oh, my God. Can you guys see this? Hold on, let me zoom in. Look at the pink foil. So pretty. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I need some alone time with the pink foil. Okay. Alone time with the pink foil. Numbers. Then we have months in a different style of lettering. One, two, three sets of months. And then the days, again, that same style of lettering, three times. And then the numbers in that style. And then the silver foil in that style. And then, yep. 
There's my foil boner again. This one, I'm gonna actually need to pick up a couple more of these packs because I really like this. Yeah, these are nice. These are like Bujo. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about trying to do something different in my bullet journal this month. And maybe after this next week, I will incorporate some of these stickers into it because that could be really awesome because I've been feeling kind of meh with what I've been doing lately. So that's good to know. So this is a $12.99 pack and it's 10 sheets. Now these two packs I've been very excited about because these ones remind me of, they're similar in setup to the functional like little kits, like sampler type kits that Kristen does. And like, I'll prove this to you. So in this binder, I think I have, these are from the website, not from Michael's. I have a bunch of these samplers. And as you can see, because I like to color coordinate my, I like to color coordinate my spreads. I love having sets like this of a bunch of functional stickers all in one color scheme like in a rainbow so that I can pull from them. You can tell I, I don't do orange very often, but I do pink a whole bunch. And it's not that I use this all on one spread. I use these on multiple spreads because I like to color coordinate. And so having a selection of different things to pull from, different styles of stickers for me is the most handy way for me to do my planner spreads in the way I like to do them. And so when I saw these, I was like, hell yes, I want these because these look like a really great companion for that. So I think one of them is bold and one of them is some other colors pattern. I don't know what she was calling it though. Let me look, see if I can tell from this. I probably can't tell from this. Um, function, no, I can't tell from this. But one of the, these, you guys can see on the back here, there's two different color schemes right? Seasonal colorway, a bit more jewel tones. Okay. So bold and like a seasonal colorway that that's why you're here, Kristen, because you can answer questions for me. All right. So I'm going to cut into these. And so far I'm going to get all smug. Like I haven't cut myself yet. And then as soon as I get all smug, I'm going to exacto knife myself into oblivion. All right. So I think this is the bold one. I have been, okay, so Kristen, I have been answering questions to the best of my ability. However, <laughs> I've also disclaimed that with, I don't know if these are the right answers. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, whatever. All right. Okay, so this one I think is the, the um, bold. And so you can see the look at it, like all the stuff on here, get it done, don't forget. Fry yay, bunch of check boxes. These look like they're sized for the Erin Condren. However, I've learned with Kristen stickers that you can adapt them to a lot of things. The full box ones can be a little difficult to adapt to different size planners, but almost every other size in here can be used in various different sizes of planners. And you can still use the full box ones by either trimming them or just finagling it. Like I'm in a horizontal, and so I have to do a little finagling with full box stickers. But I use the shit out of stickers like this because they're, they're, I can pick the color to go with whatever colors I'm using. All right, so let's look here. So we've got red, pink, orange, yellow. And I like how this yellow is not so pale that shit doesn't show up. I hate when yellow stickers are so pale you can't actually see them very well. Oh, what's this? These are nice and bright. Bright, bold yellow. Green, my favorite color. Actually, this color is really pretty too. This looks like it's kind of like a tealy color. Blue, purple, icons. Oh. I was wondering, because I know I saw the silver icons in that one pack, but I was wondering if there were gonna be colorful icons in one of these packs as well. And here's matching icons. So all of these look like they match the color schemes that are in the, um, that are in the, that are, oh, I can't even think right now. The color, these icons match the colors that are in the rest of this book. <laughs> so you have like an entire row of functional icons that match the stickers you've already seen. And then, ooh, foil. And then looks like some matching extra stickers in the back as well. Very cool. So that's this one. And then, oh, well, I'm glad that the planner community has helped Emily because that that's kind of a bitch. So I'm sorry that you have, I know it sounds flip, but it's, I'm really not, 
sure what else to say besides I'm sorry. It sucks. I'm sorry. Um, what happened? Um, someone has brain cancer, RJ. <laughs> All right. And so these are the seasonally jewel toned ones. It looks like I see what you mean. Like it could be like winter or fall or some shit. Yeah, I would imagine these might be too big for a personal ring binder, but I think they would probably fit pretty well in an A5 size binder. All right. So here we go. This is like a softer, the softer side of Sears pink. Um, oh, here comes my husband. I'm, str I'm streaming live just to show off the stickers I got today. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I drove to his work today, and I was like, oh, my God, look at these stickers in my letter, and I got them with Michaels. Yeah. And then I came home. So <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, I love this color, by the way. It's kind of like an almost like mauve pink. There and there's the cat seeing that Jesse's home. Okay. And then here's like a kind of a more muted red situation. <gasps> gray. I never used to like gray toned stickers or like black and white stickers. I was always like, give me colors or give me death. And... Because if I wanted to do black and white, I would just do a pen only spread. But I have found in the last year or so that I actually love using black and white stickers in a black and white spread. So I have been converted and these are sexual. All right. Um, hello, Alice. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, and this is like a wintry kind of blue gray. This is really pretty too. These are really pretty colors. Um, you still have seen YouTubers you recognize on here? Who's in the comments? I haven't seen anybody yet, but I've been looking down at my, and excited because my husband's home and now my cat. So, ooh, Boulder Bond, I recognize you. Oh, Sam is here? Is happily a housewife in here? Hey, Sam. Okay. These are, this is the olive green, I think is what they were talking about, perhaps. I mean, it's hard to tell with the light. It looks like an olive green to me, and this is really pretty. You guys see this color? Let me see if I can zoom in to get you a better look at it. It looks like it's gray on my on my camera. Hello, Alice is someone you watch. We'll have to check her out too. Um, um, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's hard to tell with the lighting in here. It's not natural light. This is my like regular light, but this is an olive green. It's a very kind of muted olive green, olive green. Very pretty. All right. The cat's name is Loki. Yes. Um, then this is like a marigold kind of color. Kind of like an orangey red kind of color. This brown, I never, you know, it's funny. So I was streaming with my patrons and I was testing out some, I think it was like the Peerless watercolors maybe. And I came across this brown and I said on the stream, that that is the most sexy brown I have ever seen. And then I was like, and I don't think I ever thought I would say that that's a sexy brown when I'm talking about like stickers or paints or whatever. But I'm going to say it again, because this is a sexy brown. This is a very sexy brown. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, so sexy. Anyway. So. Sexy Brown, who named the cat? Um, Jesse's drummer, who we got the cat from. He has a brother named Thor at his drummer's house. And then here are, oh, and the icons. Seeing these colors laid out like this is so pretty. It's the same deal. It's the icons in the colors of the, of the stickers we just looked at. And you're a Sexy Brown? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, you are. Um, so these icons are all coordinated in the same colors as the um, sheets preceding coffee bean brown. That's a good color. And then here are, oh, is that like a coppery foil? That's not gold. That's like a copper. Oh, look at that. Oh, I need another moment alone with the foil. Look. RJ, nobody asked you. <laughs> look at that. It's like a copper foil. Oh, or like a bronze. Oh, it's so pretty, Jesse. Look at this like bronzy foil. It says dinner date. 
If I use this, you're going to get some. What about the other dates on the sheet? No. Oh. Only that one. <laughs> How many gold foiled ones do you get in a pack? <laughs> Does she sell sheets of just gold foiled? <laughs> Can you date stickers? <laughs> Kristen, if you're on this. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we pour one out for Jesse. Okay. Um, all right. So that's the other, the other functional sticker <laughs> pack. All right, I'm gonna make dinner after I'm done with this, sweetheart. Ooh, is it um, a date? No. <laughs> this is a date with taco <laughs> salad. <laughs> um, Tori, that's amazing. Oh my God. Okay, so then this one, I think this one is the adulting pack. I think that was what this one was called. Cause we were talking before about how the mom pack look like it could also be just the adulting pack. I feel like this one is actually called the adulting sticker pack. No, no, it's not. Wait, am I missing one? Wait, hold on. Functional one, two, three, four, I think this was the adulting pack. I think this one is actually called the adulting pack because this one I think is the budget pack. I was like, I thought I bought budget stickers, but then I looked and figured this would be adulting because it has bills on it. And if anything sums up adulting, it's paying your bills. But no, I think the, um, the one with all the text situations on it with like, you know, the, that, I think that one is the adulting pack. Yes, that is Loki hollering. Yes. He's a very loud kitty. Let me check the comments here. Adulting is the one with all the different word strips. Yes. <laughs> Jesse, people in the comments are telling Kristen that you need a whole sheet of the copper foil. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> all right. Okay, so this is the budget pack. And so this one, I'm pretty sure is gonna be fairly straightforward. It's got a bunch of little skinny bill stickers and then these bill icons. And then a bunch of things that say bills and due. And then these, oh, these are nice. Monthly budget, payday, paid off, no spend, budget review, bill due, don't forget, and goals. And it looks like you get rows of these in either squares or circles. And then you get weekly spending things where you can write your weekly spending. And then it has the dates like in a soft color so you can write over it. Are these limited edition? I don't know if they're limited or not. But Kristen's in the comments, so she can answer that. Um, cover Jesse in foil stickers, then date night. <laughs> that's, that's, have you been looking in our, in our window? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> if you don't have a sticker for your bills, does that mean you don't have to pay them? I, I, I endorse this situation. Thank you, Carrie. Okay. Then we have adulting stickers. There's plenty of adulting stickers and then more of the weekly spending stickers. Oh, here we go. Here's the foil. And then you've got no spend for like a weekly tracker. You got a bunch of those, a bunch of gas things with room to write how much you spent on it. Budget review stickers and um, paper clips. Uh, is that, is this my lettering? Yes, this is my lettering. This, this is not. Um, and then a bunch of icons for different bills it looks like. We've got little houses, uh, faucets, light bulbs, fire, I'm assuming that means energy, even though if you have energy from light bulbs too, I'm, I'm not, maybe gas, because of fire. Trash, car, credit card, phone, computer, so I'm guessing internet and TVs, and they're all foiled. Look at that, sexual healing. What about the do page? These, yes, that's my lettering. Um, And then a bunch of like, good day, what else did he say, good day, you got this, real life, little foiled stickers here on the side as well. I guess to encourage you when you're giving all your money to the bill collectors. <laughs> Which pens work on these? I'm pretty sure, I'll test in just a second. Um, then these look like they're like account balance stickers. So account balance and you have checking, savings, retirement, and other, and you get a bunch of these and then some bill due stickers. A bunch of calculators, a bunch of money, you got this, think big, don't wait, work hard, don't give up, dream big. And then some dollar signs. 
And then these ones look like they might be, are these clear? Yeah, these ones are clear. So these are clear and there's clear dots, asterisks, and dollar signs. And I know that I've seen like Jen Plans use clear dots like this on the little miniature calendars in her Erin Condren to track like when certain big expenses are due. Like this is when my quarterly tax payment is due. Here's a little clear dot over that day. So I know that that's what that means. So I'm assuming that these are kind of what that's meant for, or I mean for whatever else you want, but that's what I've seen her use with these. Um, and then um, in the back here, are, I like how that one sheet is clear because I know that these are sold on the website is clear. So that's pretty cool. And then this like treat yourself next month, future plans, work it, budget, then a bunch of paid off stickers and a bunch of mason jar stickers for like savings, I'm assuming. So that is the budget situation. So those are all the stickers. And that was a $12.99 book. Those are all the stickers. Now the other stuff I picked up was the washi tape and I got one of everything that they had because I love washi tape and I've been I haven't been buying a shit ton of washi tape lately so this shouldn't surprise anyone but I'm going to open these and we'll stretch them out to take a look at them you don't know what a quarterly tax payment is um if you own a house often you have to pay taxes like property taxes quarterly that's what a quarterly tax payment is no no that's income wrong tax? income tax I lied they're the payments that you need to yes. set up to make. Yeah. Income tax. When you're freelancing, you pay pay you pay your taxes. Instead of paying them like out of your paycheck, you pay the tax people quarterly. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta test the, the things. I don't think it's paper mate flares that work on these. I think let me find a good one that'll work. I'm pretty sure it's Sharpie or like any of the permanent pens. I'm trying to find a good spot where I'm comfortable writing on these because I really like them and I don't want to oh here we go so on the bottom here I'll write all right so I've got on this here is the pen I usually use to write on Kristen stickers is either this lay pen permanent or I use a Sakura Microperm 03 these are both permanent pens but I've also heard I don't do this myself because I don't use them I've also heard that like, um, and this is a Caddick Sharpie, but like, like ultra fine Sharpies work on them too, from what I understand. So let me, let me test all three of these out on here. So this is the Le Pen Permanent, which is one of my favorites to use because it's a little bit bolder of a tip. And right now, I'm using this Pilot on my regular planner and the tips kind of match each other. I don't like it when the pen I use on my stickers has a different thickness than the pen I use in my planner. It irks me. So when I'm using a thicker tipped pen, I usually use the, the pen permanent. And when I use a finer tipped pen, I usually use the Sakura 03. So uh, test. So we'll put the pen. And then This is the Sharpie. Eh, you can tell I haven't used this one yet. It's still fresh. And then this one is the Sakura Microperm. All three of these are permanent pens. Natasha, chances are if you're having an issue writing on stickers and it's smearing, it's probably the pen you're using. A lot of stickers, unless they're like actual paper paper, like sticker paper where it feels like printer paper, um, you may need to use a different pen. And it depends on the kinds of stickers. Like I found that some of the pens I use on Kristen's stickers are not like there are some stickers I've written on where a regular pen doesn't work, but these pens don't work very well either. And I use a like a, 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 a Pigma Micron, but these are the ones I figure so... Now, I did not do, I let them dry for a second, but like these seem to be just fine. I'm imagining you write, write on them, it takes a second for it to dry because that's just how it works on this kind of paper. But any of these permanent pens seem to be working just fine. All right. I would not use a gel pen on these. I would not use a paper mate flare on these. I feel like those would smear. You would be much better off using a pen that says that it's permanent because um, 
because that's what it'll be. It's permanent. All right. Okay. Um, washies. This is the first set. I don't know if they have names, and I just threw, got rid of it too. Do they have names? I don't think they have. If they have names, I don't know what the names are. So we'll just show what's in each set, okay? So this one is foiled, and it looks like it's got... I'm going to just open them up. It's got little camera Steve, so it's like memory keeping. And then here's a rainbow one. I'm just going to open them all up, and I'll zoom you in. There's that one. And then this is a weather one, which I'm very excited about because I love weather everything. Like, it's handy. So here's a weather washi, which looks super cute. And then there's a skinny one, two skinny ones here. This skinny one says work it and sleep in. I think, what the hell does it say? Work it, sleep in. You got this, treat yourself. So it's a bunch of encouragement phrases and I love the like purpliness of it. The very pink. Stand up. And then this one looks like it is Planner, Planner Pete. And if I can just freaking, I told you I have no fingernails today because I've been biting them down. I'm not going to exacto blade the washi. I've tried that before. It never works out well. Is that even where it starts or am I just trying to get out of the, oh, that wasn't even where it started. No wonder it didn't work. Of course. And then here's the Planner Pete. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can see them all. Whoops. I guess I have to kind of, there you go. This is super cute. They're all cute. So that's the first set of washi. On these ones, uh, my contributions would be the Steve, the lettering on this one, and the weather. saving this. I can use my palette knife for that. You're right. <laughs> I'm just so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Okay, what we got here? Here's another set. Ah! All right. Making a mess. Making a mess. Okay, so this one Looks like it's like a Valentine's Day sort of style one or like love. Oh, oh, there's pink foil. Oh, you can't even see it. Pink foil, look, pink foil. Need a moment alone with the foil. All right. And then this one says best day ever and it's got a little happy Steve on it. Little happy Steve. I'm gonna have fun reading through the comments later. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm glad that YouTube saves them now though. So there's a little Steve and it says best day ever. And then here, it looks like this is the same rainbow roll. As, no way, it's not. It's different colors. No way, it's the same colors. It's the same colors. No, it's not. Wait, is it? No, it's not. Maybe. They're very similar, but they're not the same. Like this, like they're very similar, but they're not the same. This one in the pack is the seasonal. Oh, cause it's the olive green. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> I just can't fucking tell shit. Okay, and then here we've got um, celebrate, surprise, birthday, and it's silver foil. Ooh, -hoo, foil. And then there's none of that paper on the back of this the way there is on some foiled washi PS. And then this is little foiled hearts. That is super cute. Okay. So that's this set. And for my contributions here, um, the lettering on this and this and the little Steve's, of course. Okay. Let's roll you back up again, my dude. We got another one here. Yeah. These are, that's the noises I make now. This is, I make these when I'm alone too. Okay, what we got here? This one is foiled words, it looks like, and it's like whatever it takes. Oh, that's sexy. Oh, you guys can't see, sorry. That's sexy. I love the pastel rainbow. That's cute. All right, so there's that. 
And then this one has pink foil because, you know, I'm so excited about that. Kristen, I wonder, were you super excited when you got to do the pink foil? Did it just make your little heart sing? Because it's making my heart sing. <laughs> no regrets washi tape with pink foil. Hell yes. I'm going to need to just buy a bunch of foiled shit and then stick this washi all over it. No regrets. Um, and then this one says believe and it's like a green and yellow situation. So this is a four pack of washi. I think, I think it's cause they're all bigger as opposed to having little tiny skinny ones. So there's two big ones and two or like one big one, one slightly less big one and two slightly skinny ones. These ones say think positive and it's rainbow. So these are all phrases. So it looks like the washi comes in, in two kinds of packs. It either comes in a pack with one big one. What is it? Um, five, two five millimeters, two 10 millimeters, and one 15 millimeters. So two skinny, two reg, like a less than skinny, and then one bigger one. And then there's this other pack that comes with one 20 millimeter, one 15, and two 10s. So those are the two different ways the washi seems to come. The foil doesn't peel off. It looks like a little bit of it got here, but it was on the outside of the roll. But the rest of it, like coming from the inside of the roll, seems to be okay. See? And now I'm going to roll this back up because this no regrets washi, I have no regrets on getting it. I'm just saying. I'm also terrible at re-rolling washi, so this is not my strong suit but I'm doing this for you guys so I can show you it. I'm sacrificing my, my neatly rolled washi. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Okay. This one. Okay. This one seems to be functional of some sort. It's got laundry. Which is good because now that I have this one, I have this other laundry washi tape I've had for years that I've been using so stingily because I can't find it anywhere now. So now with the... No God, you can't even see it. I should have just zoomed back out again. So now with this laundry, I can, I can be a little less stingy. And then... Um, the washi tapes are all... Sorry, I don't think I said that yet. You're right. Um, where's my receipt? The washi tapes are all... $5.99, I think. Yeah, I think the washi tape is all $5.99 for the pack. Um, okay, then this one is like hexagon or something, some kind of geometric shape. I don't know what. Um, <laughs> ooh, this one looks like a cleaning one. I actually have been wanting a cleaning washi, so this is awesome. I've been just using this one with furniture on it from like the olden days that I happen to have from this um, like washi sample place to like be for cleaning. And even though it doesn't, I guess because it's old, maybe it was going to be dusty. I don't know. I was, I was trying to convince myself it was cleaning washi. So this actually is something I've been needing in my, in my collection. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things um, that... And then this rainbow, there's a lot of things that I convinced myself of. Even though I have a gigantic washi collection, there are some specific things I don't have yet. And having this one, I think is actually gonna be really helpful for me. Honeycomb maybe, yes. God, why can't I find the fucking start of this? Okay, I can't find the start of it, so I'm just gonna show you. It says, do your chores and it's got little Steve's on it. Little little grumpy Steve's on it is what it looks like too. That's awesome. All right. That's that set. Do I have any Disney washi? I do not. Do I own any? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I did some of the lettering. Yeah. And then, oh, this one's got foil. Foil! 
Do they help with tuition? Maybe. <laughs> okay, this one says crush it. And that one's silver foil. That one's sexy. And then... I don't know if you guys can see that. I put this like right above the camera. I'm just, I'm not paying. Crush it. And then this one's another pink foil. Hell yes, it is. And this one says fresh start. And then this one says, my God, my poor little broken nails are like even more broken. Oh, I have my palette knife. You, Gerald reminded me. This says make a wish. Yay! It's still awkward, but at least I'm not tearing my fingernails up any more than they already are, actually. So I fell down the rabbit hole. This is totally random. I've fallen down the rabbit hole the last couple of days of watching all of these documentaries on YouTube of how they made different, like, behind the scenes of Scream, and then it's like an hour and a half long, or behind the scenes of Halloween. I've been watching a lot of those. I don't know why I felt like telling you guys that, except that it's been on the background of when most of my Plan As You Go videos, whenever I am, like, speeding it up, I usually turn that on to listen to it while I'm working, and then you don't hear it because I turn the sound down. Um, failure is not an option, is what this one says. looking at oh Angie I'm so sorry about your mom I just caught that too Robin what watching horror documentaries is your jam because it's my jam right now too there's a bunch of them that keep popping like I watched one and now like 11 billion of them have been popping up in search for me and I just keep watching them all right so and then the last washi set I got is this one which is actually, this I think is the one I've been really excited about because there's a couple of ones in here I think just look. This is like a very functional looking one. All right, so the big puppy here is... Um, okay, I should have used the palette knife and I didn't. Whoops, oh well. Little like to-do situations that you can trim and use as stickers or you can put the whole thing down which is very cool and this one says get it done i almost thought it was going to say get shit done but then again it's michael's they wouldn't sell that but it says get it done and it's silver foil on the rainbow and then this is a water tracker washi and i can see you guys are noticing this one so much more convenient than laying down individual water tracker stickers am i right y'all Woohoo! Look at that. And then this one, these two are the ones I actually saw somebody use and I was kind of like, I'm going to unput these ones back up because these ones need to go vertical. Because these ones I'm looking at and these ones I can totally get down on, especially if I was still using my horizontal, my hourly, which I'm not right now, but I could totally see this working in my bullet journal. Or if you have an hourly planner or like a planner like the Inkwell Press vertical that doesn't have hours on it if you wanted to convert it to hourly because these ones look like they are hourly. Um, and I can't seem to fucking find this. Are the tracker size for the Aaron Connor and vertical? I have no idea. Um, this is number washi that you can lay down and it goes one through 12. Look at that. I've seen somebody use this in the horizontal. I mean, in the hourly and it was sized perfectly for that. And then where's the start of this one? This is the last one. Um, this one is the same thing, but it's foiled. Now we just need the pink foil. That is sexy. Look at that. Very cool. I wonder if the numbers washi would work in your passion planner. If I knew where the one that I have that I need to give away was, Robin, I'd look for you, but I I don't have, it would take too long for me to try and find it right now. But yeah. So yes. Thank you, Kaylin. So yes, yeah, so this is everything I picked up. This is really exciting. Kristen, I am so proud of you for getting this into Michael's for you all grown up. And I am very proud to have had a part in it. And this is just amazing. I am very excited. Um, 
and like I said, if you have a Michaels nearby you, you can check. It's supposed to be in almost all of them, including in Canada, but they may not have it. My local one has the tags for it, but they haven't put it out yet. I had to drive 45 minutes to find this stuff. And my Michaels is small, but they do have the spaces for it. They just haven't done it yet. So I'm going to try and get I want to memory keep it when I get my kids in there to have them see it in the store. But I was very excited. Yeah, it's very cool. Anyway, now that I've shown it to you guys, I can start using them. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you guys all this. I'm not usually a haul person, but I just, this is exciting, my dudes. Like this is, this is very cool. And like out of all of these, like if I'm looking at the washi, my favorite of the washi is probably the no regrets one because of the pink foil or the, um, this one, the cleaning supplies one, because I think I'm going to just be able to make a lot of use out of that. As for the stickers themselves, as much as I love all of the fun stickers and everything else, not going to lie, the ones I know I'm going to get the most use out of the quickest are these two. Because these are, these books are like my lifeblood. Like I already have Kristen's samplers that she does that are similar to this. And I just use the shit out of them. They're my most useful stickers. And so having more of them in different colors is exciting for me. Anyway. Aw, thank you for the super chat. Who gave that to me? I didn't even see. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Thank you for the super chat. Oh my God, now I can't turn it off. There we go. Anyway. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes open for it when you find it because it's really awesome. And yeah, very cool. It's just cool to see somebody from the planner community, like not somebody who like started as a brand and that's how we knew them. Like someone like Aaron Condren, you know, we got into the planner community knowing that she was a brand. And for a lot of you, you may have gotten into the planner community knowing Kristen as a brand. But for a lot of us who've been around for a while, we have seen Kristen become, like Kristen and Christian Designs become what they are now, like from the ground up. And there's something very special about that. And it's very, very cool. And yeah. I'm not going to get sappy. I'm not going to get sappy. So like, yeah, I just thought I would, I thought I would bring that up. But anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you're on the replay, thank you for watching. All of you guys, before you take off, hit the like button because there's always people who decide to hit the dislike button and I just want to drown them out because on my live, I don't ask for it on my filmed videos because it feels weird. I have no problem asking for you to hit the like button on my live videos. Why? I don't know. I don't, who knows? Who knows why we do the things that we do? But anyway, you guys, I will see you later. There will be another Plan As You Go video up tomorrow, and there will be a live plan with me coming, not this weekend, I think two weeks from now, three weeks from now, at the end of the month. I don't remember. You'll find out. Anyway, you guys, thanks, and I will see you next time.